So the two different types we're going to look at are discrete versus continuous variation. So with discrete variation, this is variation that falls into very individual categories and there are no intermediate or middle forms of it. So examples of that might be tongue rolling. So you can either roll your tongue like the image on the right or you cannot roll your tongue. There's also earlobes. You can see on the lower right hand side there we have um, a free earlobe. You can either have a free earlobe or you could have an attached earlobe. And then in peas, which is what Mendel originally found his genetic ratios with, you can have smooth or wrinkled peas. The continuous variation, in contrast, this is a situation where the variation is distributed on a continuum. So examples of that might be human height or skin color or eye color, because this variation occurs continuously. And this kind of variation, notably, can also be influenced by a variety of environmental factors. Polygenic inheritance is a single phenotype that is controlled by two or more genes. So as mentioned, human skin color is an example of this. So the phenotypes of polygenic characteristics tend to show continuous variation. So in the image, it's essentially a model. On the left hand side, it's showing the inheritance of three genes. In reality, human skin color is controlled by many, many more than three genes. But what you can see as a result of this on the right hand side is the continuous variation in skin color that is modeled on this graph.